Good morning to you all. I am delighted that you could all join us to hear for this join us today for this significant celebration. And I'd like to begin by thanking a number of people who have played a big part in making this day possible. First of all, I want to thank Governor Quinn um, for his efforts to uh, make this investment possible. <clears throat> I'd like to thank Mayor Brereton and the Belvedere City Council for always believing in Chrysler and its workers. And finally, Ron McEnroy, UAW Region 4 Director, who is here and will also speak to you this morning. Our partnership with UAW has played an essential role in enabling today's celebration. Now, personally, this is a visit that has been due for a long period of time because of what this plan means to the overall success of Chrysler and moreover for the example that the workers here at Belvedere have been able to set. It is no secret that this plant has always been one of the best assembly plants within Chrysler for, for performance, for productivity, and it is a benchmark which is now um, being measured against the European plants in Fiat and Belvedere continues to shine among the top performers of the whole group. I, I don't know whether they've told you, but there was a recent study that was carried out by Harbor that measured the competitiveness of 34 plants across Europe and um, North America and Belvedere. And this is not just within the Fiat Chrysler world, but it's across our competitors. And Belvedere ranked third out of 34. So, you just got a couple of spots to close, and then we're done. Um, the Jeep brand was recognized as the most reliable domestic brand in 2011 by Consumer Reports, and the Patriot, the car that you build here was selected as the most reliable Jeep model. And these and are just... <laughs> these are just two of the very impressive results that this plant has achieved and can be proud of. None of them would have been possible without the efforts that the men and women here at the Belvedere Assembly Plants have, in, have shown in investing in their jobs and the steadfast, steadfast faith that they have demonstrated in Chrysler, in themselves, and ultimately in each other. Moments like this aren't just are moments of, that go beyond celebration. And they're also occasions to reflect on how we got here and why. I know that the times you endured in the recent past were not easy. In 2009, when a new Chrysler emerged from bankruptcy, there was only one shift in this plant, and fewer than 200 people were working throughout this building with little hope and tremendous uncertainty. Now, the story that we've all written together since then is something which is simply exceptional. Just six months after the creation of the new Chrysler, we are able to add a second shift and to hire hundreds of workers. Workers who at the beginning were temporary, but very soon became permanent. Today we're here to celebrate the start of a significant new chapter in this plant's history. The 600 million investment that we announced at the end of 2010 has now grown to almost 700 million, and it is now a reality. This has allowed us to open a state-of-the-art body shop to drive out waste and increase worker involvement by introducing world-class manufacturing and to transform Belvedere into one of the safest and the most efficient assembly plants in the world. Above all, this investment will enable us to start in a few months the production of the new Dodge Dart that was named the most significant vehicle at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit in January. <laughs> the, Dart, the Dart is a groundbreaking new car. It represents a big step in achieving outstanding fuel economy, and it will change consumer perceptions about what they can expect 
in a compact sedan. And it's completely, totally, proudly made here in the United States. Now, I'm also delighted to be here today to announce that we will soon be adding a third crew here at Belvedere. In total, this means, in total, this means that we're going to be adding more than 1,800 jobs by the summer to support new production, the new production of the DART and the third crew providing a more certain and a solid future for the plant and for all the people that work here. It was not by chance that we chose Belvedere to make this investment and to build the new Dodge Dart. Because with a new Dart, we are setting out to play in a highly competitive and a crucial automotive segment, a market, a segment that accounts for about 15% of the US market and 23% of the Canadian market. Our decision is evidence of the faith that we have in your level of commitment and in your passion to deliver great products for our customers. You have been essential in our ability to author a remarka remarkable story of recovery. And so I'm here also to express my sincere gratitude for your dedication and for your hard work and for helping us create a work environment which is dedicated to quality and with the flexibility to compete with the best plants anywhere in the world. I also want to recognize that giving back to the community is part and parcel of the DNA of Belvedere Assembly. Your outstanding support for programs such as the United Way, the Holiday Wish Program, and the Giving Tree, among others, goes a long way towards making the Belvedere area a better place to live and a better place to work. Now, I've been told that when someone asks you where you work, the, com the most common reply, even before in the town of Belvedere, is in the middle of a cornfield. What I can tell you is that you are working in the middle of a great project, a project that speaks of cultural integration and production excellence. The truth is that you will be building the first Chrysler Group vehicle to feature a Fiat-derived architecture which was adapted from the award-winning Alfa Romeo Giulietta. The truth is that you're working in a plant that is an example of the kind of mosaic that we aim to create between our two companies, between Chrysler and Fiat. A mosaic in which each piece has a clear identity and yet is interconnected with the other pieces forming a strong overall design. Here there are workers who come from far away, from Alabama, from New York, Indianapolis, Detroit, St. Louis, Kokomo, Delaware, and New Jersey. But as a team, you could not be closer. Wherever you come from, you all share the same strong work ethic and the same unrelenting commitment to the values that guide the new Chrysler, of renewal, of a willingness to engage in competition, to better oneself every day, of service to others and the communities in which we live, in creating the conditions for a better future for our children. You are the new Chrysler. Your efforts have enabled us to revive this company and put Chrysler on a path to regain its rightful place as a great car company. I want to thank you again for all you've done, but more importantly, for who you are and what you are. Thank you all.